Spider Impact is the fastest and easiest way to automate your organization's strategy. It's based around the idea that you improve what you measure. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the software by showing you how three different types of people would use it. So if I were a typical employee, I'd care a lot about this home section that you see when you first log in. Here in Alerts, I can see that product cost has taken a turn for the worse, and I can click on it to drill down, but I see that I also have some responsibilities over here. I'm responsible for updating three KPIs. I own eight KPIs and I own two tasks. So let's take a look at KPI updates. Now you'll often have Spider Impact wired up so it's automatically pulling values from your spreadsheets and databases, but there are times when you're gonna need to manually update values. And these are the three I'm responsible for. So every month I'm gonna log in and update the values for product revenue, training revenue, and book revenue. And finally, I'm gonna to go to my KPIs. If you're using Spider Impact with balanced scorecard language, this is gonna be called My Measures, but it's the same thing with a different name. This is the screen that shows you everything you wanna keep an eye on. You can click on a filter to just show the red ones. Now, keep in mind, I'm already getting alerts the second any of these turn red, but it's nice to have the home section as a place to go to get an overall feel for what you're responsible for and how it's all performing. Another type of person who'd use Spider Impact is a high-level executive. They're going to spend a lot of time in this bookmarks section, where they can click through their top five or six screens that they really care about and then move on with their day. My first bookmark is this corporate strategy map, where I can see at a glance how my overall performance is doing. I can see here that improved profitability is not doing great and that it's trending down from the previous month. Here is a sales pipeline dashboard where I can see how ad clicks go into leads and new trials and new customers. Uh, I can see here that leads took a dip here about a year ago and then they improved performance more recently. Uh, new trials are still not doing great. Here's a sales versus expenses dashboard where we can see all the things that feed into revenue like product, training, and book. And here's the costs, uh, book production costs, product costs. You can see here Spider Impact is predicting what the values will be in the future and you can see a 95% confidence interval uh, coming out from the last data point. Down here at the bottom are operating expenses like travel or insurance. Here's an interactive dashboard sales totals where it's pulling from a data set. And you can filter the data live to only show records for the United Kingdom or the sales employee. It's not just dashboards and strategy maps though. Here's a report showing all the red KPIs in the entire software so we can just see what's going wrong. Or we can take a look at this migrate servers to the cloud initiative. We can see here that we're gonna be 21 days late but slightly under budget. If we scroll down, you can track the uh, budget spent and percent complete over time. At the very bottom, here are two scorecard items that we've said are related to this initiative, improve IT effectiveness and product revenue. As you can see, product revenue is not being helped out by this initiative, but IT effectiveness is. We don't have to take the software's word for it though. Let's click on the button to see what's going on. As you can see, Spider Impact is doing some real statistics here and it's showing its work. Our Migrate Service to the Cloud initiative is definitely correlated with an improvement to IT effectiveness. So that's high-level executives. They're going to click through their bookmarks in the morning and maybe analyze a few things that grab their attention. They're using the software to get a good overview of how the organization is performing strategically. A third type of person who'd use Spider Impact is a power user. Rather than clicking through bookmarks, they're going to dig into the software and visit the actual sections. So we'll start with scorecards. And now for the first time, we see the organization selector. Everything in Spider Impact is sorted by organization. For example, Mobile World Incorporated will have its own scorecard, key measures could have its own scorecard, dashboards, you know, et cetera. And now we see our company's balanced scorecard. There's the four perspectives. I can expand the perspectives and see the objectives underneath. And underneath them is one or two uh, measures. These measures have values over time and a goal and it measures the actual values against the goal to give it a score. And then it takes the score and rolls it up the tree so you can see if you're accomplishing your high level strategic objectives. The initiative section, uh, we've seen the migrate service to the cloud initiative before, 
but we haven't seen this build search engine optimization capabilities of the initiative. Uh, we can see here we're 14 days early and fairly under budget. But what's really interesting is all of the cost and schedule data is being pulled from these underlying tasks and milestones. The data set section is great for exploring your underlying data. This is a device sales data set that powers a lot of my KPIs and dashboards. Uh, if you want to explore it uh, and, and do ad hoc analysis, go to the Explorer tab and choose a field you want to look into, for example, sales employee. And so this says the number of sales for all time, there's 31,000 sales broken down by employee. Or you can say, uh, let's do country. And these are you know, broken down by country, half our sales are in the United States. I can filter and show just United Kingdom data. And it filters, you know, based on what I've selected or just, you know, uh, Michelle uh, or Michelin in the United Kingdom. Or if I want to change the overall total uh, over here, I can change total display. And instead of showing the number of sales, I can show the sale price, which is probably much more useful. $30 million of total sales over time. And now we see Kim is at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, the data set section is not the best for presenting data. Do that in the dashboard section, but this is great for ad hoc analysis to answer questions quickly about your underlying data. And then the last thing in the foundation area is the files section. This is for uploading Word documents or PDFs. There's, it's supporting information for the rest of the software. You can have, you know, for example, a related document to a KPI or something. But you can also upload images that are good for backgrounds for dashboards or strategy maps. Speaking of strategy maps, let's check out the strategy map section. We've seen this one before, but what we haven't seen is the ability to drill down. You can click on any of these objectives and drill directly to the scorecard section to see what's going on. We can take a look at dashboards. This is a financial asset allocation dashboard showing all the cash, bonds, stocks, and funds and their allocation. You can see the business process management scores. This is our cycle chart uh, that's really good at um, you know, BPM visualization. And this is a call center status dashboard. These are KPIs and you can drill in just like we could before, but this widget here is an embedded Google Maps widget. You can embed all kinds of different uh, third-party software directly into Spider Impact. This is the report section. We've seen this red measures report before, but here's a data set report. This is employee sales details this month. It's every single employee and their totals per country based on the number of sales, average sale price, and total sale value. Here's the chart section. These are stacked quarterly sales. So this is, you know, all four quarters for 2017, 18, 19, et cetera. Here's another report. Uh, broken down every single salesperson, broken down by country, and here's a median reference band to show what the median is for every country. And finally, it's the briefing section. Once you put together all your dashboards and reports, you can assemble them into a single briefing and lead meetings. It's a lot like PowerPoint, except the data is live. If someone asks you a question about new trials, you can click to drill down right into the scorecard section to see what's going on. And this whole time, there's a notice on top saying your briefing is paused. Just click to jump right back in and continue your briefing. So that's Spider Impact. It's performance management software that brings your strategy to life.